Okay, this three-phase motor is missing the nameplate. The nameplate is the plate that would actually tell you how to actually do your uh, connections uh, for a dual uh, voltage three-phase motor. I have nine leads coming out here. Each one of these leads has, has a mark. Each mark is called T1 through T9. Okay, so what do I do if I need to connect this for a high voltage or low voltage? It's very easy uh, to remember uh, if you put it, if you set it up in your mind and you practice this, uh, most electricians can actually tell you how to do it because they practice it so many times. We're going to start with the low voltage. On the low voltage side, we want to put the, uh, our windings of the motor, and as you can see, uh, it doesn't look like the inside of the motor. We want to actually uh, put the windings in parallel. And I'm going to demonstrate to you what this actually means. First thing I want to do is Starting from uh, left to right, I want to number my coils. I'm going to number it one, two, go around the three. Come back inside to the first one, four, five, and six. Again, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Now, so I have marked my nine taps or my nine terminals that are hanging out of the three-phase motor. One to four is a winding, two to five is a winding, six to three is a winding, seven, eight, and nine are connected together in the center here. How to configure for a low voltage motor? You do one to seven, and you tie three to nine, and you tie two to eight. Four, five, and six, you tie together. When you're bringing your lines in, line one goes to terminal one. Line two goes to terminal two. And line three goes to terminal three. Or again, is your A phase, B phase, and C phase. Think of it like this in uh, groups of threes. Four, five, and six are tied together. One to seven, two to eight, and three to nine. A phase, B phase, and C phase. Now, this will actually uh, give you a clockwise rotation if you're sure that your phases are in that order. If you need the motor to reverse its rotation, it is easy to just go in and swap any two terminals. Typically, we'll swap C with A, and this will provide us with a counterclockwise rotation. Now our windings are in parallel, and that's for low voltage. But what if we need high voltage? What we want to do, again, label out terminals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, for high voltage, it's really easy for electricians to remember versus doing it in low voltage. <clears throat> when I say tie in series, I really do mean tie in series. Tie four to seven, five, eight, and six, nine. That will leave you with T1, T2, and T3. Connect a phase or line one to T1, B phase, or line two to T2, and T3 is C phase, or line three. When you look at it like this in groups of threes, <clears throat> four to seven, five to eight, and six to nine. T1 is line one, 
line 2, line 3. Or A, B, C for your high voltage. Again, if I need to reverse the rotation, again, just take the two leads of A and C and swap. Make this C and make this A. Practice this. It's not something you learn overnight. But as you continue to work in the field, you won't look at the nameplate anymore. You'll just connect and go. Thank you.